uh, you probably noticed it, but I ripped open the side of my mouth again here. Welcome back, travel fans. It's me, Morgan, from the very unofficial travel guides. Grab yourself something to eat and something to drink. We're going to sit down and have lunch together. Well, actually, dinner together again. Something I've only ever done with you once before, and I'm excited to do it again here in the Strand Palace Hotel in London. All right, just to clear some things up, it is pretty dark in here. <laughs> this is not a light room so I'm sitting on the middle of the bed because I feel like this is the lightest place in the room you can see there's these two bright lights here behind the thing and they're kind of reflecting off the pillows and I feel like that's kind of giving me some light on my face so that's why I decided to sit here but I'm gonna have to take you over here to uh, do the order so here we go because we booked directly over the Strand Palace website I got a, what is it, a 15 pound off food and drink credit. And I'm pretty sure that I can use it for in-room dining. So that's something I'm gonna have to clear up. But first let's take a look at the menu here. In-room dining, Strand Palace Hotel. It says your minimum food order is 12 pounds, which is probably around $15. So let's see. It starts with breakfast, but I'm just gonna skip that because I'm definitely not gonna order breakfast <clears throat> lunch and dinner all dishes are available from 11 till 10 soups and salads butternut butternut squash soup avocado caprese salad hot smoked salmon salad caesar salad and greek salad i had a, a sandwich and soup for lunch so that's kind of gonna affect uh, what it is i order the avocado capri salad sounds good. I don't know if I want a salad. I don't know, what do we have here? Pizza, margarita pizza, ham and mushroom pizza, so not for me. What else do we have here? Here's sandwiches, sides, and main course. Let's see, what do they have for main course? Fish and chips, no. Chicken breast, no. Salmon, no. Spinach and ricotta ravioli, that sounds good to me, but I'm confused that there's no vegetarian symbol next to it, so I wonder if there's like, I don't know, ham or something in there. Sometimes in, um, sometimes in like uh, pasta sauces, they, they use like chicken broth or something, so. Grilled halloumi with cherry tomato, baby spinach, and pesto served with sweet potato fries. That does sound good, but it's 16.50. I don't know, what else is here? Steak, so no. What about the sandwiches? Club sandwich, so no. Steak burger, no. Avocado caprese panino, buffalo mozzarella, tomato, avocado, and rocket panino served with fries. That does sound kind of good, even though I did have a sandwich for lunch. White beer brisket sandwich? No. Hot or cold sandwiches on white or brown bread? Well, yeah, I had a sandwich, but let's see here. Grilled vegetables, goat cheese, and red onion marmalade. Well, that does sound good. Hmm. Let's see. And how much is this again? 15 pounds. So if I got this panino, I would have get, I could order something else. And I feel like if you know the last time I did this on the Norwegian Epic, I ordered a chocolate cake and got cheesecake. So I feel like I need to include part of the tradition that I always try to get a piece of chocolate cake. And they don't have chocolate cake here, but they do have chocolate brownie. So I guess I'll order the chocolate brownie. And I think that I'm going to have to um set you down to order I don't know let's try it I guess there's no speakerphone sorry all right Hello, this is uh, Mr. O'Brien in room 421. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I think I'd like to order dinner, and the first question I have is, can I use this 15 pound coupon I got at check-in? Fantastic. Then, I would like the avocado and caprice panino, uh, with some mayonnaise, please, for the chips, and the chocolate brownie.
Nope, that should be good. All right, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so that all worked out, and now just wait for the food to come, and I think I'm going to take a little nap. All right, everybody, I've decided I can't, uh, I can't eat my food on the bed over there, even though that's the lightest place. So I tried to set it up here a little bit better. I took the shade off the lamp, and I'm hoping that there's enough light that it looks okay. Anyways, the food's here. And it was very nice when the guy uh, came to deliver it. He asked permission to come in, as always, and then um, he set it up here and he actually presented it to me. So he opened it up and said, this is your dessert. And he opened, uh, he lifted the second plate and lifted, uh, lifted the cover and said, and this is your avocado caprice. And, you know, I, I know I've mentioned this before. I'm really terrible with numbers. And I wanted to give him a tip. And I didn't realize that on the receipt, there was already a gratuity, inclu uh, gratuity included. I realized that after I had added the tip on it and signed it, and even told me when, because <laughs> the pen went out when I was trying to add the tip, and he's like, oh, don't worry about that. You don't have to do that. And I was like, no, I want to give you something extra. And he's like, well, okay. And then he gave me a different pen. And then when I looked at it at the end, I was like, oh, gratuity already included. So. I give him like, like way extra tip now, but all right, whatever. I, you know, I had that 15 pound coupon, so I guess I shouldn't complain that much. I'm going to put the camera here. And I hope that you can see me and the food. That should work, shouldn't it? I need to test it once. All right, I adjusted some things. It's a super wide angle, so I know you're gonna be able to see me, and let's sit down to eat. Uh, <laughs> this is the brownie. I showed you that already, but I'll try to show you it a little closer. And shoot, it's got ice cream on it, and by the time, that's dumb. By the time I finish with my, sa with my sandwich, the ice cream's gonna be melted. Should I just, I'm just gonna eat the ice cream now. Oh, dang, it would taste so good together with the brownie, but I can't eat this first. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna eat it first. <laughs> oh, it's all gone horribly wrong already. You know what, I, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. But it does look good, and it is what I ordered. So already improvement, already an improvement over the order on the Norwegian Epic. If you, if you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description below, or just search my videos for Norwegian Epic um, Room Service. I think I put mukbang in the title, M-U-K-B-A-N-G, which is sort of the, that's like the genre of these kind of videos, so. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you, tangent, uh, you probably noticed it, but I ripped open the side of my mouth again here. And it's really bad this time. It's like, it hurts and it's bleeding. And it's not, um, it's not like a cold sore or anything like that. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's like, my lips get really dry, but they don't necessarily get dry like here. They get dry like in the corners. And then I'll smile, or this happened the other night when I was trying to take a big bite out of a veggie burger. And then it just rips open and it takes forever to heal and it's so annoying. If you guys have any advice on how to avoid this happening and when it happens, how to make sure it heals quickly other than just like not opening my mouth at all, I get so annoyed by this and so that also makes eating less fun because it always hurts and I know every time I open my mouth to put a bite in, it's gonna rip again and start bleeding again and then it gets Anyways, that's my life. Brownie. Mm, ouch. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, count how many times in this video I make the sound mm, while I've got food in my mouth. It's like, um, it's an uncontrollable habit I have, I guess. And I noticed when I watched the video of um, of me having lunch, having room service on the Epic. I was like, gosh, why do I do that all the time? And then later I just observed the fact that 
I don't know, I just do it. I can't like control it, it just happens. This is really good. And I'm disappointed that I didn't think, you know, that the ice cream would melt, but how else would I have done it? I would have had to order it like later. But how do they expect people to do this? Do some people, maybe some people just order dessert. Hmm. There it was again. By the way, there's a pear here, so I'm gonna eat the pear as well because the pear is fruit. The fruit is healthy, therefore this now being healthy, right? And chocolate is made from the cocoa bean and beans are also healthy. And ice cream is made from milk and milk. All right, here we go. It gets to the point where this cut in the corner of my mouth where I know I start eating and I think, I think, all right, well, if you're just very careful, it'll be fine. And then there always comes a point where I just think, well, just might as well just go for it now because I can feel it hurting anyways. It's so annoying. It's not fair. This is a candied pear, by the way. It's not a fresh pear, but it's not really sweet. However, this brownie is sweet and it tastes really good. And I'm glad that I got this instead of a piece of cheesecake. What are you guys having? Write in the comments below. Let me know what you're having if you did make something to eat and sit down to eat this with me. I know that several of you have written to me to say that you do that. How was your day? Did you have a good day? I had a really good day. I have some some work things to do here for my real life job. It was just a really great day today. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity. A lot of times when, most of the times when I'm making these videos for you guys, I'm traveling, I'm doing something fun, and I'm doing it on my own accord with my own money or the money that I get from you guys on Patreon. And that's one thing. And I'm here now uh, on work-related stuff, but I still am getting the chance to do fun things, and my job was really fun today, too. And so it's just, it's been a really great day. And the weather's not bad. It's chilly, but it's not raining, so of course that's good. And uh, we got done a little bit early today, and I'm going to go see another show tonight. So really not much to complain about. Excuse me. All right, I've got almost all the ice cream gone. It's all melted anyways. And the pear. So I'm gonna take this last bite and then I'm gonna start eating my sandwich and my fries. Very good. Where should I put this? Just put it over here. Oh, I don't have anything to drink. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Included in the price of the room, two bottles of water. Do I have like chocolate on my lips? No. This looks like chocolate, I know. But we've already established what that is. I'm sorry, I've talked about it enough. Voila, here is the sandwich. And this looks really good. Is this going to be the thumbnail? Or should I do like something like this? Thumbnail. You know what? I think, um, I think I'm not supposed to leave it in this thing. Gosh, look at the size of this fork. It's like, like, I feel like this is a normal size fork, even though it's, it's actually extra long, but look at this, what the heck? This is like a, like a Viking fork, or like for, for uh, Hagrid, 
in Harry Potter or something. I mean, what the heck? Don't they know who I am? Don't they know I don't need a huge fork? I have a small mouth. And it's cut. Oh, have I mentioned that already? All right. Got my little things of mayo and ketchup again, like last time. And you know what? Excuse me, you know what I'm thinking? The last time I stayed here, the last time I was in London, I stayed here. And I also ordered room, excuse me, room service with, uh, with that coupon I had. It's all coming back to me now. I, I forgot about that. And I think that that's in a video too, but I didn't really sit down and eat the whole thing. It's just part of the video. So, you know, I wasn't thinking about eating a sandwich and having to take big bites of the sandwich. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take off the top layer of bread because it's just toasted bread anyways. I don't even think, I don't even think there's like butter on here. And I'm gonna eat the sandwich. That'll make it easier to bite into, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. They gave me this little thing of salt and pepper here. But uh, I tasted the fries and they're salty enough, so don't need that. But I do need some mayo. I talked about this in the last video too, that I never would have believed before I moved to Europe, Germany to be specific, <laughs> that I would ever enjoy eating french fries and mayonnaise, but now I can't get enough of it. I mean, now I can't imagine eating french fries with just ketchup, it just, I would not be satisfied with that. But my most favorite is french fries and ranch dressing. If you've been following me for a while, you know about my obsession with ranch dressing and how difficult it is to get in Germany. Or, it's not difficult to get, it's just ridiculously expensive. On Facebook the other day I posted that picture of, uh, I was in this big department store in Berlin called KDV, it's called Kaufhaus des Westens, but the abbreviation is KDV, and the top f floor of that is all like just this luxury, um, grocery store type place. And they have Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing for I think it was 14 euros a bottle. So it's like 16, 17 American dollars for a bottle of ranch dressing. That's my life. So mayonnaise and ketchup. If I can't have ranch dressing, then at least give me mayonnaise and ketchup. Good man. The fries are good. Where were we? Marcus and I... Last, was it last night? No, two nights ago. We went to a pub before we went to see the musical Motown, which was really good. And that's where we had the veggie burgers. That's where I hurt my lip. Have I mentioned that already? And they had like these really thick steak fries. And I prefer the, I prefer the thick fries over the skinny fries. But one advantage, one advantage of these are is they're always crispier than the steak fries. You know what I mean? So, we've been in London for four days now. Marcus left today because he has work back home and I don't have to work again until Friday. And today's Wednesday. So he left today, but so far we've, um, we went to see both parts of Harry Potter. I have the program here, but I'm afraid if I lift it up, the camera's gonna fall, so I'm gonna skip that. So we both saw both parts of the Harry Potter play all in one day. We went to see Motown, then I had work, and he went to see Dreamgirls last night. And um, tonight I'm going to see The Grinning Man, and that's London. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Not bad. This is like guacamole. So it's not like um, slivers of avocado. It's guacamole, basically. It's like, it's like avocado paste. 
and it tastes very avocado-y, and it also has a nice, um, there's definitely some fresh lemon juice in there, so that tastes good too. And then there's the tomato, the rocket lettuce, and the, um, what was that again? Mozzarella on top. It's not bad. I feel like if I could add something to it, I would put um, some balsamic, like some balsamic vinaigrette syrup on top. I think that would like really make it fantastic, but it's not bad. It's ridiculously expensive, but room service in hotels is always ridiculously expensive. I mean, what did I pay with tip and everything now? If we ignore the fact that I had that coupon, I paid over 20 pounds for this, which is around like 25, 26 US dollars. Imagine the dinner I could have gotten for that. I didn't even have a cocktail or a glass of wine with this, so... So oh, yeah, expensive. But I had that coupon and I wanted to do this with you guys again. I wanted to sit down and chat and have something to eat. So here we are. This is actually something also really easy to make at home. If you've been around here for a while, you know that you know that I love cheese. I eat lots of cheese. But I have to say, we never have mozzarella at home. We always have other kinds of cheese, like Gouda and um, Idem or other like stinky cheeses too. We have a lot of a lot of cream cheese like cream cheese with jalapenos or cream cheese with sun-dried tomatoes. I like that kind of stuff too. And it's really easy, like, if you want a piece of toast for breakfast. I'm not, I don't like to eat sweet stuff, especially not for breakfast. Well, no, I guess I can't say that, but I don't like, um, I wouldn't like make a piece of toast and put like, um, jelly on it. Not my thing. And when I'm home, and when I'm visiting people in the States, they like offer to make me um, pancakes and waffles for breakfast, and I don't know, I'm not, just not, not into that. I would much prefer something um, savory for, for breakfast, like, like a piece of toast with cream cheese or a bagel with cream cheese. That's one thing, <laughs> when I lived in New York, you could get a bagel with cream cheese on every corner for like, what was it back then, $1.99. If you live in New York now, or if you've been to New York recently, what does a bagel with cream cheese cost at one of those stands on the corner nowadays? Write it um, in the comments below. <laughs> So I wonder, with inflation and everything, I'm gonna guess. I bet now they cost like three fifty, which is still pretty cheap. And I used to, when I had singing lessons, or when I was going to a, an, an audition where I knew I had to sing, I used to get a toasted bagel with cream cheese as uh, as part of my warm up, because. You, they, you know, they're like so chewy and you really have to chew and I felt like it warmed up my uh, my face muscles so, There's a little singer tip for you If you want to warm up your face muscles Eat a chewy bagel with cream cheese a little bit of advice for you free free of charge
as I said, we went to see Harry Potter, and I think I should make a whole other video about that, so I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it now, but stay tuned for my Sunday sofa time. I'm going to probably do it as part of a Sunday sofa time. And I hope that you guys are cool with the fact that Sunday story time has now become Sunday sofa time, because I just realized there's so much I want to talk about uh, that's travel related, but that's not like in the past, or not, you know, just wouldn't like count as a story. Like these, um, I'm trying to pick up this French, this really juicy French fry without touching it using other French fries, and I did it. The past few weekends for Sunday story time or Sunday sofa time, I've been talking about the most expensive cruise I could book and the least expensive cruise I could book. And I promise that this weekend, I mean, it's this weekend for me now. I don't know when I'm going to get around to posting this video, but possibly you'll see this in the chronological order. Anyways, I promised that this weekend I would look for the cost of what it would cost to book a private yacht. So that's what we're doing. That's what I'll be doing. Jeez, when am I going to do that? I guess I'll do it Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Almost through half of it. How you doing? Are you done eating? I'm usually a slow eater. And the fact that I'm trying to like talk a lot with you guys doesn't make me eat any faster. When I go out to eat with friends, I'm usually the last person who's done eating. Oops. What about you guys? There are some people that I go out to eat with them or I eat with them and I can't believe how fast they can eat. I don't understand it. Like, I feel like some people I know don't even chew their food. I'm not, it's not criticism. I just don't understand it because I like to like really chew it and taste it and enjoy it. And I feel like some people are like, I don't know, they don't, they don't like um, enjoy the experience of eating. It's more like just a functional, my body needs food, and this is what I am uh, going to consume, and the sooner I'm done with this, the sooner I can go on to do something else. And I'm kind of not that way. <laughs> I'm going to try to pick up another fry here with two other fries, like chopsticks. Isn't it weird to think that in other cultures, like little kids learn, like, you know, like three-year-olds, maybe even younger, learning how to use chopsticks is like a normal part of their life. You know, it's just a normal part of that culture. And I think I learned, the first time I learned how to use chopsticks, I mean, I knew they existed, but I never went to... I think the first time I had sushi was, oh gosh, I was at least 20, 25 years old. So that's when somebody taught me how to actually use chopsticks. And it took a while. It took a while to get used to it. And I just imagined that, you know how, if you're brought up in some kind of Western culture, you know, like, in the United States, we learned to use a fork and a knife and a spoon at a very young age, and I feel like those are relatively easy utensils to use, and when you compare 
learning and using chopsticks it's so different like excuse me like chopsticks is a really is a skill <laughs> you know what I mean <coughs> chopsticks is something that like somebody has to literally show you you put this one here you put that one there you squeeze together and it's something that the more you use it like you have to practice it to to really be good at it you know what I mean or you can just have a gigantic mutant fork like this and just shovel everything in your mouth like we do in the United States <coughs> It's shortly past 6, and my show tonight is at 7.30, and it's only like a 10 minute walk away, so I'm doing good. I didn't get to take a nap, because I was trying to figure out the best way to set this all up. But I'm definitely going to just close my eyes for like 20 minutes when I'm done with this, because I'm afraid I might doze off in the show, and I don't want to do that. I bought a full price ticket for the show tonight, like we did for Harry Potter too. So I definitely don't want to fall asleep. By the way, I'm not really hungry anymore, but I'm just gonna finish it because it's there. Um, I am. Um, I've known a lot of people, I've worked with a lot of people, I've been close to a lot of people who've uh, struggled with eating disorders. A really terrible thing to have to struggle with. And I just want you to know that if you're one of those people that I have compassion for you and I feel for you, then I just thought I'd mention that before I talk about the rest now because what I'm saying is technically I could stop eating this right now and I would be totally happy and because I get more and more upset with the way my body is changing now that I'm not as active as I used to be I know I probably should just stop because I'm not hungry anymore and I don't need all these calories but it tastes good and so that's why I'm gonna keep eating it, but I'm not gonna finish these fries. Because that's probably where the most calories are, and especially the fries and the mayo. That's, I probably could have just done without that. <laughs> not to mention the brownie and the ice cream. But hey, the brownie and the ice cream, I did it for you guys. It's the chocolate cake tradition. By the way, I mentioned that I did not I did one of these videos when I was visiting, visiting my family a couple months ago, where I ate Taco Bell. And I'm still gonna, still gonna post that eventually, but I'm not really happy with the way it turned out. So I'm, I'm positive that this is gonna go online before that one will. The thing that was weird about that one, also no criticism, is right now, and on the one I did on the Norwegian Epic, I was alone. And when I did the Taco Bell one, my parents were sitting like right next to me in the other room, but out of frame. And it just seemed really weird to me you know, it, there is something weird about sitting and talking to you guys, but you guys aren't really there for me right now. I'm talking to a camera. And then to have my parents, who are totally unfamiliar with that kind of stuff, sort of be observing it, I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like I couldn't really just like chat, like we're chatting right now. It was weird. It was interesting to observe within myself. 
Well, I watched some of that footage recently and I thought, mm, this, this isn't necessarily that good because it doesn't seem like me uninhibited just chatting. It seemed like, I don't know. I don't know, but like I said, I will post it eventually. And I can see I'm getting close to a half an hour and a half an hour is definitely as long as I want to make this video for you. So I've got this much left to eat. And like I said, I'm not going to finish these fries, but I thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me complain about <laughs> this wound on the side of my mouth. And uh, just thanks for hanging around. I hope you had a good lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever you had if you had um, a meal with me now. And as always, let me know if you like these kind of videos by writing something in the comments about it, pressing the thumbs up or liking this video, and uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe to me, as always, if you haven't subscribed yet. All that does is gives, um, you'll get a notification then, excuse me, when I uh, post a new video, then sometimes you'll get a mail with a list of videos and one of mine will be in there too, maybe, hopefully. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter every Friday on my social media. I do Food and Drink Friday. So I'll probably talk about this in Food and Drink Friday too. And um, if you want to give me a little tip, like I gave the, <laughs> the guy who brought this food, I gave him a big tip, then you can do that at patreon.com slash very unofficial. And the secret word of today is huge fork. You know what to do. Bye-bye.